What is up everybody? This is the Fresh Baked Goods and thank you for clicking on another Hell at Loose video. So we got a preview of a new map for update 12 and this is going to be the Battle of Raymogen. And this is the bridge map that we've seen on the road maps. This map looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the look of it. I love the idea of it. I just have no idea how it's going to play. And according to the dev briefs, here's the brief description of the battle. The Battle of Raymogen was part of the Allied invasion of Germany that took place during the 7th to 25th of March 1945. The Raymogen map focuses on the iconic area where the Ludendorff Railroad Bridge was central to the Allied advance of armor and troops across the Rhine River. Ludendorff Bridge was one of the last standing bridges over the Rhine and fierce fighting took place between both Axis and Allied forces in order to capture or destroy this vital supply route. Axis forces through everything they had to try and destroy the Ludendorff Bridge, artillery, railway guns, airstrikes, mortars, mines, and even a covert team of frogmen and saboteurs, all to no avail. The Ludendorff Bridge stood well enough to allow five divisions of Allied troops to spearhead across the Rhine River and into Germany's industrial heartland. The Battle of Remagen and the following capture of the bridgehead across the Rhine River was credited with shortening the duration of World War II. In Update 12, Hell at Loose, players will be battling during the period shortly before the US successfully captures the bridge, prior to its capture and prominent collapse 10 days later. A lot of experienced Hell at Loose players are going to make assumptions of how this map's going to go, and most of them will probably turn out to be true, but I am going to hold all my judgment until I actually play it, but this will be a meat grinder of a map. So as we can see, the map is divided up into three sections, really. The bottom being this farmland, or it looks like it's going to be your usual fields and just nice, open, flat area. The middle section will just be the bridge. That's it. So far, there's been no indication that there'll be any other way to cross this river. It's going to be the bridge, and it's just going to be a massive choke point. And the top section is just pure mountain ranges from the looks of it. All the windy roads to go with it. I don't believe there's actually going to be a tunnel, so that little area behind the bridge will probably be blocked off. So there's a few things to note here. Obviously with this map, the number one issue that I think most people have on their minds is artillery. It's just going to be six guns hitting this bridge non stop and if they're not hitting the bridge they're going to be hitting the ends of the bridge where their enemies attempt to cross it and to counter this you're going to be completely reliant on airheads just to send recon all the way back there to deal with this already which is going to be hard in the first place because there's not much room to drop these things over here so let's talk about the bridge that's the main focus of the map so i would assume since this is a strong point engineers squad leaders commander they're all going to be able to build on top of it this thing is going to be a clusterfuck with structures blockades vehicle wrecks. You're going to need satchels and bombing runs just to clear this thing out regularly during a match. So even when we're not looking at the bridge, there's these two points on either side that could also be the mid capture point. I'm expecting whichever team starts with one of these points as the mid capture point on their side of the river will win this game. I expect matches to go to full 90 because all you're going to be doing is camping that bridge. And what's more interesting is when you look at the cap sectors, I might butcher this, but this point right here, Barnhof Amrhein, can be capped from the other side of the river in this little section of land right here. So that'll be really interesting because the opposite point, the chapel, really can't. There's only a small, small, small sliver. One other massive, massive thing to note on this map is that whichever faction starts on the bottom has a straight road from mid HQ all the way to the bridge. The top faction does not. They have to drive down these windy rows all the way to the outside of the map almost and then back to the middle. So I fully expect the bottom side of this map to win two thirds of the games if the point is on their side of the river as well as if the point is the bridge because they're going to be able to get to that bridge faster than obviously if they have the point on their side of the river, I believe they will win as well. Also, I'm fully expecting since there's so much elevation on the other side, this map will just turn into battles of the mountain versus the bridge. Because when you look at this tack map, when you look at these images, it is just ripe for AT guns and tanks. This is going to be an absolute slaughterhouse for infantry. It's going to be next to impossible to cross this bridge with any sort of ease. It's going to take complete teamwork top to bottom, the recon armor, infantry, and the commander to win games in this. Which has me cautiously excited about this. Hopefully this map ends up on the PTE so we can all try it. But hey, let me know your thoughts on this map, if you're excited for it, what you're concerned about down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. Thank you for everything you do. I'll see you dudes on the front line.